Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is Thirsty Thursday. So I have the perfect drink for you if you're having brunch and you need something a little stronger than a mimosa. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you don't like to drink but you like to get drunk. <laughs> like you don't like the taste but you like the effects. So this is a drink that's kind of like a shot. It's a little bit stronger than a mimosa but it's all dressed up in a fancy sparkly little outfit is how I like to call it. It's called a French 75 or a 75 cocktail as some people refer to it. So I have my cocktail set here from Pampered Chef. Um, not all of it, but just the items that I need. I've got my shaker here and I've got it halfway filled with ice. The next thing I'm going to add in here is an ounce and a half of gin. So this is a two ounce shot glass. So maybe two ounces instead of an ounce and a half. And then we're going to add in an ounce and a half of simple syrup, which I made this morning. So it's just two parts water, or I'm sorry, one part water to two parts sugar. And then you just boil it down until the sugar dissolves. And the great thing about simple syrups are you can infuse them and make them any kind of flavor you want. I love doing a jalapeno one. All right, so the next thing we need is about the juice of three quarters of a lemon. And because this tool does such an amazing job, I'm not even going to need three quarters. I'm just going to use half. So you put the citrus in, cut side down, and then what this does is turns it inside out completely. So there is really like every drop of that lemon in there. All right, so that we have. And now we are, we don't need this part. We need this part. You can tell I'm not a bartender. <laughs> so we're going to shake this up. And then... I guess that's good enough. Again, I'm not a bartender. So. <laughs> I just know how to make this drink. I had a little party here last year for all the girls. Since we moved, I finally have room that I can entertain now. And so I think we had about 75 women. Not 75. Oh, my goodness. I definitely don't have room for that. We had about 25 women here. We had a lot of fun. I had my husband parking cars uh, just to make sure <laughs> we had enough parking room. And whenever they pulled up, he would park the car and he would hand them a drink. And this is what I made, except I used pomegranate juice instead and then I have froze the little pomegranate seeds in little heart-shaped ice cubes and we had those in the glass so they were really really pretty at the time anyway these are pretty too it's just um it's going to be lemon flavored instead of pomegranate flavored so we're going to strain it in here and then the other thing we need is a little bit of champagne and I was afraid I might I guess I could probably put the rest in there I was afraid that some of my ice had melted while I was talking. All right, so now we're going to try to figure this out. Mark usually does this part for me, and he's not here, so we'll see if I can figure this out. Well, I really thought there was like a wire twisty thing on here for some reason. Don't they have a wire twisty thing? <laughs> anyway, let's see. Twist to open, twist to reseal. I didn't think you could reseal these. I think you're supposed to use a towel when you do this. Oh, maybe not. Well, oh! <laughs> I thought it was just going to twist off. I didn't think there was any pressure. I was like, oh, this doesn't even have any pressure in it. But it did. <laughs> and so we're just going to top off our drink with this. If I was spilling it all over the counter first. And then what you do is, and it's a good thing I made one up ahead of time because I didn't turn this thing inside out. But you take a little uh, vegetable peeler. I don't know if I can do it on here. And then I just like to go around the whole thing. Let's do the other side. It might be easier. Again, I'm not a bartender, so <laughs> this is not the simplest job for me. But you just go around and get yourself a little peel. But you know what? I've ordered these at the bars, and theirs not, isn't really pretty either. But the one I did this morning is. So which one I do, <laughs> again, is get a peel, and then you twist it. Now, because I knew I was coming on camera, I cheated a little bit. And I went ahead and made one and twisted it up. <laughs> so that's what it should look like. Isn't that cute? So let's take a drink. It's like a sparkling lemonade with a little bit of a kick. <laughs> it is really, really good, though. And like I said, you can swap this out for grapefruit juice or um, 
blood orange, any kind of citrus, really. And like I said, I did a pomegranate juice. So the next time you open a bottle of champagne, think of me and take a little extra step and make yourself one of these drinks and then have one for me or two. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.